Takedown Tribe. You guys know that we've been switching up the style content we've been making lately, and we actually just wrote on Instagram why we're taking a step back from doing food challenges. But then, one of our subscribers, Robert, reached out to us and asked, would you guys do a 10,000 calorie challenge again if I paid for it? And we let him know it would have to be something that we really wanted to do. And after a little back and forth, he let us know that he really loved the fact that we mostly did sweet challenges and his favorite ones were the mystery food challenges, which were also our favorite to make. So we thought our fall mini series starts next week. Maybe we'll take him up on that offer and see if we still have what it takes. Yeah, very interested in finding that out. Now we're gonna be separating this 10,000 calorie challenge into four separate rounds. We each purchased one item for every round and I actually did my shopping for this yesterday and went a little bit overboard with my purchases. So I let Pete know how many calories I had gotten and he said he would shop accordingly. Anyways, I am very interested in seeing if we can still take down so much food in one sitting. What round do you wanna start with? Uh, I am most excited about my seasonal pick. All right, let's start there then. You take yours out and then I'll show you what I've got. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, sick cheesecake. Oh, it's pumpkin cheesecake. I didn't even know they sold them like this. Yes, this is the Cheesecake Factory at home. I saw that they actually had the pumpkin cheesecake available at BJ's and got that. That looks awesome. Okay, I'll show you what I've got. All right. I've got the pumpkin frosting filled sandwich cookies from Walmart. We haven't had those since last year and we loved these ones. I remember really liking those. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's let's start with a few of those. Okay, let's do it. Do you wanna start with half? Uh, yeah. Okay, and then we'll take down some of the cheese. It smells like pumpkin in here. Oh yeah, already. All right, I'm gonna show them these sandwich cookies and then we'll, we'll take them down. Cool. Here we go. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. These are so good. They're so much softer than I remember. Do you have a knife for that so I can like cut it and show them? Mm -hmm. These are so good. Oh, you know what? Show them the whole thing before I cut it all the way. Okay. Be careful with it. This thing looks so good. Again, I had no idea that they sold them like that. Ooh. All right, that is very soft, so we might have to eat it with a fork. I'm thinking so. I'm gonna show it to him on the plate. <laughs> that looks great though. Okay, let's try it. That is so good. Spectacular. I'm gonna show them one more time to show them how fluffy it is. is amazing. Very good. It is the, the perfect hybrid of a pumpkin pie and the Cheesecake Factory's cheesecake. Yeah. It doesn't have an overwhelming amount of spice, but it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Texturally amazing. I'm obsessed with that. Want to just finish the cookies before moving on? May as well. Okay. A good assessment though about the kind of being like pumpkin pie, because it is kind of softer than cheesecake like a pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. Great moisture content. <laughs> I will show them these one more time until they are gone forever. Okay. so good. Nice choice on those cookies. They are even better than I remember. <clears throat> I don't know whether I'm happier with my own choice or yours though, because that cheesecake was pretty awesome. I didn't even know they sold that. <clears throat> Anyways, what round do you want to do next? I guess I'm just going to leave this all up to you. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, as I always do, I guess. I'm also very excited about my pie option. And the reason we chose pie was because Robert let us know that he loves pie. So I thought it would be a fun idea to do it that way. Well, you just told me, um, maybe we should do a pie round. And I was totally about that. I didn't know it was because Robert loved pie. 
So I'm actually a little self-conscious about my decision now. I'm sorry, Robert, I did not give you actual pie. I was trying to be clever and funny, and I guess I'll show you mine first. This is what I brought. I brought whoopie pies, which are technically cake, but it's called pie, and so I thought that that was kind of funny. <laughs> I definitely was not anticipating whoopie pies. I love whoopie pies, but I was anticipating a normal pie. Yeah, I guess I was really in the mood for frosting because I just did frosting filled sandwich cookies and now I've got frosting filled cake. Well, I'm excited about it nonetheless, yes, but it is not pie. I brought a non-traditional pie to the game. Okay. Oh, the cannoli pie. We've seen this for like so long and we just have managed to not buy it for way too long. I'm so excited to actually be able to try that. I figured it was the perfect opportunity for us to finally try this. All right, cool. Yeah, so basically it looks like a pie shell filled with cannoli filling and topped with like cannoli shells and chocolate chips. That looks awesome. Which do you want to start with? Um, we started with mine last time. You want to start with yours? Okay, cool. Do you want to show that to him? Hope? Yeah, absolutely. Here, you can use this to rip off the, uh... Mm -hmm. Now I have been wanting to try this for a very long time, so we are about to find out if this meets my expectations or severely lets me down. Yeah, very interested in finding that one out. Okay, let me show it to him, uh, cut all cut up. That's a lot of cannoli filling. And I'm not mad about it, no. Just to confirm, that is a pie shell with about an inch and a half of cannoli filling with mini chocolate chips, crushed cannoli shells, and powdered sugar. It's crazy. There's probably as much ricotta cheese in this pie shell as the amount of cream cheese we usually put on one of our bagels. And those are some good portions. Mm -hmm. Let's finish it. Okay, actually, I'm going to show them the inside one more time. Okay. I'll tell you, every time that we saw that at the grocery store, I thought that it would be good, but that exceeded my expectations. Nice choice. I'm very happy with that. Now I've got the red velvet whoopie pies, which we have also been curious about for a little while. Not pie, but I'm not mad. It's in the name. Sorry, Robert. Not real pie. Okay. So I missed that. Not gonna lie, I was expecting cream cheese frosting, seeing that it was red velvet. I'm not really sure why you would just put regular icing in it, but it's not bad. <clears throat> I know, for a red velvet product, you would imagine cream cheese frosting. Very much not cream cheese frosting. I'll show them the inside before we finish. Pretty good though. Mm -hmm. I could have sworn that you were going to bring the buttermilk pie to this challenge because you mentioned it the other day. And I swear to you, I was fully convinced that a buttermilk pie would be on this table. Those were really nice. And I have to say, the texture of the cake was exceptional. You just can't call it red velvet to me if you don't have cream cheese. Yeah. But it was good and the ratio of frosting to cake was, was perfect in my opinion. Yes. Anyways. Because I'm leaving them all up to you, what do you want to do next? <laughs> I did not know that I was going to have to pick every round. If you want me to pick, um, I'll pick. <clears throat> let's do... We have personal favorites. Okay. Um, that's just the one that popped into my head. This is the one where I went overboard with the calories. Okay. Just so you know. This is the one where I had to go underboard with calories because it was the last thing I picked and I didn't have a whole lot more to play with. All right, this is perfect then. Okay. So just like in the desert island food challenge, this looks like just, just like what I brought out. I brought Tupperware, and it's kind of a two for one. I brought 
blondies and brownies because one of our favorite things is the blondie brownie tray that we get from BJ's. And so I figured I would bring both their blondies and their brownies to this challenge. It, I think it's been a while since we've had these and they are yes. insane. Yeah. Sweet. <clears throat> so you get three blondies and three brownies. This is, this is a big route. There you go. Yes, it is. Ooh. Okay. What do you got though? Oh yeah. I brought these guys. Ooh. Love Reese's, Reese's White Pumpkins and Reese's Sticks. I just figured they're one of our favorite candy companies. Our favorite American candy. Yeah, exactly. Okay, nicely chosen. I think our favorite candy in general at this point has officially become Milka. I, they're pretty high on the list. I'd agree with that. Obviously they don't have Milka at Walmart. So I was at Walmart and uh, I grabbed those. Again, I was kind of, I, I didn't have too many calories to play with so I grabbed these. Sorry about that, that's totally on oh, me. That's fine. Anyway, so where do you wanna start with the blondies or the brownies? I'm really excited to dive into the blondies. Let's do this. Okay, let's do two blondies and then we'll do two brownies and then we'll do a blondie and then a brownie. <laughs> okay. So we keep things interesting. Okay. Okay, check these things out. One of our favorites. All right. Oh. I am so happy with you right now. It doesn't get better than this. Those are perfect. Do you want to take down the Reese's and then go back to this stuff? <laughs> I have the same thought. One, that blondie. It is the best blondie I've ever had in my life. Yes. I mean, the last time we did a mystery challenge, I brought the David's blondies. These are the best. Mm -hmm. But that brownie is so rich. It's exhausting. It is doing me in, so. Sorry, I did that to us. Oh, no, that's okay. They're delicious. They're just really rich. So let's do these. And then we'll go back to these. Sounds good. All right, I'm sorry, pumpkin? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know why, but the white pumpkin hits completely different than the actual white cup. So true. Love it. Nice choice. All right. Reese's sticks. That round felt like an eternity. That was exhausting. <clears throat> Dude, <clears throat> we were eating like 13 to 14,000 calories a week for months, for a while. I don't know where we are right now, but we're clearly not at 10,000 calories each. That's a lot. <clears throat> we deconditioned fast. Yes. Um, <clears throat> great choice with the blondies and brownies, despite the fact that they felt like they would never end. I'm kind of happy. I'm kind of happy that uh, that ended up working out though, where you got the smaller amount of that round. Because then if we had had like a bunch of Reese's products or something with that, uh, 
That would have been a little bit too much for me, I think. <clears throat> but nice choices. I do think that the Reese's Stick is one of the best wafer, peanut butter wafer products that exists. I don't know if I could choose between the Reese's Stick and Nutty Buddy. Yeah, that's a difficult choice. Anyways, we've got one more round, and I'm already feeling it way more than I feel that I should be. <laughs> I know. <clears throat> Anyways, do you want me to, do you, me to go first or you go first? Um, I'll go first. Okay, that's fine. This is what I got us. Nice. We haven't had cake bites, uh, original cake bites in ages. And we have had, actually haven't had, we haven't oh. had, huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was not an exciting reveal for you guys. But we haven't yeah, had either of these. We, we've had original cake bites a couple times, but not too often. And every time we pass them, when we go to Walmart together, we always point them out and say they've got some really great flavors. So yeah. I figured now would be the time to try them. Blueberry and frosted coffee cake. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's good because I don't think we've had anything fruity. Yeah. No. So um, that's a good choice. These cool. ones have our cinnamon drizzle, uh, rich white fudge frosting, vanilla cake, cinnamon jelly, and cinnamon cake. That sounds yep. awesome. And these ones are blueberry sprinkles, um, rich white chocolate coating, blueberry cake, blueberry spread, and vanilla cake. Awesome. I think we should start with my item though, okay. because <clears throat> Robert did say mostly sweet when we when you talked to him. I remember that. Mm -hmm. And so I did use one round to get something savory. Ah. Uh, or something salty. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, here we are. We got fried onion Ooh. ring Pringles because we've never had this flavor. No. And we were looking for these back when we did our Pringles, like our, what it was like 20 cans of Pringles or something we ate, I don't remember how many. But anyways, we were looking for this flavor and we couldn't find them. Yeah, so I'm happy to finally I, try them. I don't think I've come across these ever since, since before we shot that video because again, when we shot that video, we were looking for this flavor and I haven't seen them around. Nope. Where'd you get them? I got them at Walmart, the one in Massachusetts. Oh, okay. Here you go. Take these down and then those down. All right. I'll, I'll show them these though. I am so happy that you brought something salty. I know, right? This actually is really a lifesaver right now. They just look like every other Pringle, <laughs> but they are flavored like onion rings. Let's see how they are. I like those. They're a little stinky, but in a good way. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you mean. Like the onion, like stinky onion. Oh, okay. But in a good way. I think they definitely resemble an onion ring. Yeah. Like not assertive, but there's an onion ring flavor in there. Good enough for me. Let's pound them. There's more Pringles in one of those cans than I remember. How long did it take us to eat 10 cans of those? Also, the first bite was the only one that had any kind of stinky onion to it. The rest of them kind of tasted more like onion ring batter. Mm hmm So true though. It took way longer to eat that than I remember it taking to eat any of the cans of Pringles in our actual Pringles challenge. Yeah. I have no idea how we did that. Those did help reset the whole body, the mind, the soul, yes. everything involved. So now going to these doesn't seem so daunting. Which one would you like to start with? Uh, maybe the cinnamon one. We'll finish off on something fruity. Okay, sounds good to me. These smell like blueberry Pop-Tarts, which is my favorite flavor of Pop-Tart. All right, I, I, I honestly think your choice of bringing Pringles to the game may have made this challenge a success. Yeah, because I feel much better after them, to be honest. So I guess I shot us in the foot with the brownies and then saved us with the Pringles. So I guess I'm doing a pretty good job here. <clears throat> okay, let's see how these are. Nice choice. Wow. Those are so dense and so moist. 
Did you show them the inside? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Just in case I didn't. Whoa. Very good. Let's pound them. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Those are excellent. If you're out there and you like extremely dense and extremely moist cake, that is the product to get. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. Mm. A great coffee cake. That definitely is up there with Hostess. But it's looks entirely different. Wow. Because this is like an actually like, that was an actually like very dense cake and it was covered in icing. So it's very different than Hostess, but I would definitely say that it is a very good coffee cake. I think as far as like cinnamon streusel coffee cakes go, Hostess has it. Yeah. That's just like an actual cake. Yes, very yeah. good. That one's odd. It definitely does have a somewhat similar blueberry flavor to that of a Pop-Tart, but the non Perels are kind of a bit much. The whole thing feels weird to me. Yeah, let's eat them. Okay. <laughs> I think that was your only miss of the day. But how are you to know because we've never tried them before? Well, the texture of the cake though was very good. The flavor wasn't bad. And I usually love non pareils. Like I love non pareils in the birthday cake Kit Kat back when that was out. I love non pareils on frosted animal cookies. Those are one of my favorites. But in that application, I feel like they were very overwhelming. I feel like it was a half miss for me though because the coffee cake was excellent. True. It was just the blueberry one. Didn't do it for me, which was a surprise because the lot when we had their lemon one a long time ago, that was amazing. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah. Anyways, do you have any final thoughts now that we've successfully eaten 10,000 calories again in a single sitting and proven to both ourselves and to anyone else out there that you know may think that we could have lost it in that amount of time? <laughs> and we've still got it. Yeah. Um, I would just say I'm happy that I didn't have any more brownies because that would have that would have done me in. When we were eating those brownies, I was like. Man, I, I can't do this anymore. Like, I don't, I don't have it in me. But then, once we had the Pringles, just like you said, kind of reset everything, I felt much better, and I feel pretty good now. Yeah, I, I'm i blown away that we were doing what we were doing every single week. I mean, we may again someday. Yeah. I, I, we still stand true and stand by what we said before, that we are taking a step back from food challenges. We want to have the freedom and the ability to create whatever kind of content is inspiring us and whatever we think we'll have fun making mm -hmm. because ultimately that will translate to you all. Um, <clears throat> but so I, I don't think we're going to do food challenges very often right now, but we will not every week. Yeah, we'll still incorporate them from time to time and maybe someday we'll just get the itch again and just do food challenges. But that was a lot of fun, at least to do before we kind of jump into something a little bit different again. Yeah. I think some of my favorite items of the day were that uh, it was the pumpkin cheesecake, the pumpkin sandwich cookies, and the cannoli pie. Mmm. I would say those items and the blondie. Yeah. For me, today, those other three items beat the blondie just for what I'm in the mood for right now, but those blondies are absolutely exceptional. That was a lot of fun. What was your biggest surprise item that I brought? <clears throat> I mean, I guess they're all surprises, but like the biggest, like, I was not anticipating that. Honestly, the cheesecake, the very first item. That one just kind of like shocked me because I just didn't expect to see it. I didn't know they sold it in that, in I don't know, in like a full size, like small cheesecake. That was really cool. Um, I knew you were going to bring an actual pie for the pie round. And so I'm not as shocked by that one as I was the cheesecake, but both of those I think were your top choices. Cool. I, th I think I was most surprised that you brought whoopie pies. <laughs> I was not anticipating that. Again, sorry, Robert. I know that's not an actual pie, <laughs> but I was being clever. And I think my favorite item that you brought in general was actually the pumpkin cookies. Yes. So I think we both struck gold on round one <laughs> seasonal items. But anyways, thank you so much, Robert. Seriously, it means a lot to us. Um, most of the time, 99% of the time, these videos end up costing a lot more than we make back from them, yeah. uh, which can be quite expensive, especially seeing this is still technically a hobby of ours because we don't have a whole lot of subscribers. So it means a lot that you would reach out and you would contribute to this video. Uh, I'm happy that we took advantage of it as well. Um, <laughs> 
because it's fun to hop back into it. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. So we, Robert, we really thank you and we hope that you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the choices that we made given the fairly loose criteria that you <laughs> gave us. Uh, also, he only wanted to go by Robert. He goes by Robert R. So I'm not going to give his full name just in case there is anything, uh, any, uh, any kind of reason why uh, he doesn't want us to use I don't know if he doesn't want us to use it or not. Anyways, thank you, Robert, and thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Make sure to comment on it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We do have a lot of really fun, cool things planned for fall. I know that we mentioned in the intro that we have a little kind of fall series coming up, and uh, <clears throat> that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, America is crazy right now with the fall flavors. We lose our minds come fall with the amount of pumpkin spice and caramel apple things. It is completely overwhelming, so we had to do a multi-part series for that. Anyways, yeah. so that's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure to tune back in next week. Make sure you've got your notifications turned on so that you can be updated every time the Takedown Twins release a video. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in, and we will see you again in the next one. We still got it. Yeah. Considering how I felt after round three, I, I was a little worried that we weren't going to make it through. One thing we definitely don't have that we had before is the tolerance for sugar, though, because I was like about halfway through, I was like, Ugh. this yeah. feels like a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, heart palpitations kicked in pretty early, but luckily it didn't last too long. Cool.